What's happening, guys? So we have talked a lot about AutoGPT over the last few, I guess the last week, really, since it started to capture everyone's attention. We've talked about it in the context of where it came from, how it differs from ChatGPT, what use cases people are exploring. And one of the things that we noticed is that while the first set of experiments were obviously people who are actually had tech skills, who were coding, building, or building off the repositories that people like Sig Gravitas had posted online, there were coming online very quickly a new set of end user experiences like agent GPT and God mode that allowed people to start to build this type of autonomous AI agent right from their browser without any of those skills. So what I thought would be valuable because I think it's so important to actually test these tools is to try to start to interact with one of these platforms. And so I decided to try God mode first. I think in the future we'll try agent GPT and others, but this was an experiment tonight to see if and how uh, this this tool, God Mode, and the AI agents underneath it could help me think through how to grow the YouTube following, right? It's something I'm obviously thinking about. I want to talk to more people about this AI stuff. So let's dig into this experiment live around what it looks like to ask God Mode and the AI agents that lie underneath it with AutoGPT to help grow a YouTube following. All right. So I've been doing a lot of content about AutoGPT and the various tools built on it. And so I wanted to try out one of those with a relatively simple task in the basic, but potentially a really complicated task to execute. And let's see how it does. So obviously you're watching this here. I'm trying to grow the YouTube channel. Let's say on God mode that we want to grow YouTube following by let's say a very reasonable 10,000 viewers making content about AI. All right, so then we're gonna launch. And by the way, to get this up and running, we had to sign in and I used my own open AI API key. So that's what it's pulling from. Uh, okay, and then it suggests this set of potential approaches. So suggested research and identify popular AI related topics and trends for content creation. Yes, that seems reasonable. Suggested develop a content creation schedule and consistently produce high quality videos. Yes, although I'm not sure how it's going to produce high quality videos. Suggested promote the YouTube channel and videos through social media collaborations and other marketing strategies. All right, so for the sake of it, let's just go with these three. That all sounds reasonable. So now we click launch. And we're sitting back and relaxing. Okay, so it has now come back. Thoughts. Let's research popular AI-related topics and trends for our YouTube content using Google. Reasoning, researching popular topics will help us create content that is in demand and likely to be viewed. Using Google is a quick and easy way to find recent and relevant information. Can we search? So this is in the feedback. We search YouTube as well to see which AI-related content is popular. Obviously, Google's algorithms are a little bit different than YouTube's, and YouTube's are potentially more up-to-date, so let's see what it does when we suggest that. I think this one seems a little bit more likely to produce the results that we want, given that we're going to be operating within YouTube. Now you can see over here, it appears that we're searching for popular AI-related content on YouTube using Google. I'm not exactly sure what this is going to spit back. So it says we should use the browse website command with the URL of the top YouTube channel for AI enthusiasts to gain more inspiration for our content. We should also create a content schedule to establish regular uploads and maintain viewer engagement. Browsing this website is a great way to discover what types of content are successful and maintaining viewer interest, having a content schedule. I'm not exactly sure what they're <laughs> suggesting, but it says over here, retrieve descriptions and popularity factors of top AI YouTube channels from Feedspot. Let's approve this because I think it might have a better, clearer idea of what it's trying to do than I do. It's a nice touch having these little messages, channeling inner deities, harnessing the power of 20,000 GPUs, perfecting omnipotence. All right, you know, you're getting a little creepy there. It says, now that we've gathered inspiration, let's create a content creation schedule by using the write to file command to create a text file to document our schedule. It's important that we regularly update new viewers. We should aim for a realistic schedule that accounts for time to research, create, edit, and upload videos. I'm gonna say yes to this. Obviously, this is the part where I'm most skeptical of its ability to actually add value, but I think that I wanna see what it does. So we're gonna, again, we're in the business of approving these plans tonight. We're not trying to give a ton of feedback yet. I think that what we'll do is we'll use this as a first experiment and then build off it in the future. 
it is interesting. You can see content creation schedule Monday, research, Tuesday, script writing and recording, Wednesday, editing, Thursday, uploading, Friday, interaction with fans and statistics evaluation. Next thought, we should start creating our first video related to AI. We can use our expertise and focus on a topic that we are passionate about. We can start by using the evaluate code command to write a script for our video. Reasoning, as an LM with knowledge in artificial intelligence, you can leverage your expertise to create unique and informative content. So it says, welcome to my channel. We will today be dis we will today we will be discussing AI and machine learning. Artificial intelligence has been a hot topic in recent years at the forefront of innovation. In this video, we will be introducing some key concepts and exploring the different ways in which AI is being used to change the world. First, let's look at the different definition of AI. Now, blah, 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 blah. So this is actually, it's not bad, but it's sort of one of the things that people often comment on. It sounds like a sophisticated 101 college paper or maybe a really sophisticated high school paper or something. But let's, again, we're getting a baseline tonight to understand what it can and can't do. And then we'll reflect, I think, on what we want to try next as relates to these experiments and whether this is a good use of this sort of God mode AI or not. So we're going to approve again. From saving lives, solving complex problems, and revolutionizing industries, AI has incredible potential to change the world as we know it. However, we must also ensure that its development and use remain ethical and responsible with proper regulations and safeguards in place. Thank you for watching. Now, as we wait for this video would not perform well. Obviously, this is a one-minute overview of the channel, I guess maybe as a channel introduction. It doesn't necessarily show any particular knowledge of what's happening on YouTube right now. And my biggest question or concern with this sort of thing would be that it doesn't have the ability to actually know what makes for a good video. So that's what I'm keeping in the back of my mind. All right, now it says, let's make some revisions to our current script based on the suggestions given by GPT 3.5. We can use the improve code command to get a list of possible ways to improve our script. Additionally, we should consider incorporating examples to make the topic more relatable to viewers and showcase our expertise. Reasoning incorporating suggestions from GPT 3.5 will ensure that the script is concise, informative, and provides a balanced point of view. Examples can help clarify complex concepts and demonstrate our expertise. Okay, so suggestions, incorporate more examples. So let's look at the definition of AI, artificial intelligence. It's the ability of a machine and computer system to perform tasks. Let's say approve this plan. Again, I'm not exactly sure. I would continue to have the same concerns around the video, but we are really establishing a baseline tonight of what this can do. And I do think it's worth noting as we are waiting to see what the next thing that comes up, that this is all being driven, right? The steps being taken by God mode, right? By the auto GPT that is running underneath this. This is not me saying, hey, you know what we need to do next? We need to come up with a script. The AI is actually saying the next step after we search for popular trends is coming up with a script. Here's a script. And then now that I've read the script and reviewed the script, here are some ways to fix it. So I think that even though this is pretty rudimentary, it shows the way in which the steps between the goal being issued and the task actually being completed are happening not driven by me as the person who set the goal, but by the AI who's running it. Okay, we've got the next step. Let's use the write test command to ensure that our code is functioning as intended and that any changes are made or made thoroughly tested before being implemented. Reasoning, testing is important. So let's see. I'm not sure what this is asking. We're going to approve it because I don't want to get stuck on it. Okay, so its next thought is let's utilize agents, GPT 3.5 powered agents to delegate tasks such as marketing, video editing, and other tasks that don't require your expertise in the legal field. I'm not sure where legal field came from, but this would free up your time and allow you to focus on creating high quality content about AI and machine learning. Reasoning it's important to prioritize tasks that require your expertise and delegating tasks that don't require your expertise to others. This allows you to focus your time and energy on creating high quality content that your viewers will appreciate. I agree. I think this is getting into the a meteor section and potentially a section where AI can even do more, which is the marketing and promotion of this. So let's definitely approve this part of the plan. So this is saying, let's use search files command to find any files related to AI and machine learning that may be saved in your local directory. I'm going to say, let's skip this step and continue planning the marketing strategy. 
This is the first time that we've actually told it to skip it. So let's see how it handles that feedback. All right, now we've got this. It looks like proposed actions, but the thoughts and reasoning aren't coming up. So I don't know if this is a glitch or an error, but let's say we see start marketing strategy, description of target audience, link to content calendar, list of optimized video titles and tags, description of social media strategy. This looks like the direction we wanna go. So I'm gonna approve and see if it figures itself out. By the way, something I just noticed while we're waiting, we've got over here this content schedule that we can download based on based on what it said. So let's open this up. And this is what it had come up with for a content schedule, kind of like we saw before. Monday research, Tuesday script writing and recording, Wednesday editing. Again, super rudimentary, but I didn't have to think through this. It just made a suggestion. I could have probably followed up and said, let's have a more grueling content schedule, but here we are. Okay, so let's use the right to file command to create a document outlining our marketing strategy. This will allow us to refer to the plan later and make any necessary changes as we go along. I very much like this thing, this plan. This, I presume, will come up here in the same area of files. So let's approve this. Okay, we're back to researching and identifying. Let's modify this to try to get specific topics and even titles and tags likely to be popular. It feels like we're just circling back now. So let's submit this feedback and see where it leads us. I have a feeling that we may be coming to the end of this capacity for an experiment, but let's look at the marketing strategy first. So marketing strategy outline, identify our target audience, create a content calendar, optimize video titles and tags, leverage social media, collaborate with other YouTubers, participate in relevant groups and communities, analyze performance. Let's also save this in a dedicated folder for all our marketing materials, close. Okay, so far I would say that we are pretty basic. This is an interesting tool, I think, for helping someone think through even the steps of starting something. I don't know that right now this is going to replace as such a huge amount of what I would do, right? I think that I'd be looking for a little bit more help actually finding the topics that would be most likely to get people interested, but it's still an, a really interesting demonstration of the ability of these sort of auto GPTs to think through the steps of going from zero to a task being completed. Yeah, so now we're just continuing to rotate through this. So I think that I will wrap it here and we'll call that experiment one. We will come back and do a little bit more with God Mode. Maybe we'll try Agent GPT next to see how it fares comparatively. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.